Hello, everyone, and welcome back for our next episode of our Undertale Pacifist playthrough. We're officially in the hot lands and things are heating up as we are battling with the killer robot, but yet we got Alfie's on our side trying to help us, trying to help us through the puzzles. When she can get herself to make a phone call. Oh, and on a side note, cooking with Undyne was absolutely fantastic. Oh, that was a blast. I love the fact that we burned her house down. She's like, we besties, and then she split. And she shows up here on the loading screen now, which is also really cool. If this is your first time here, well, Welcome, hope you have an awesome time. And if you do have an awesome time, it would really help me out if you consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Without any further delay, let's get back into the hotlands. Here we are, everybody. Oop, let me move this out of the way. Ring. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity. By, uh, anyways, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Click. I can't remember if I read that at the end of the last episode or not. I don't think I did, but I read it again just to be safe. That's right. We are going through the hot lands, working our way towards the core. That thing looks pretty cool. Here's the Vader. So quiet all of a sudden. Too bad there wasn't like some elevator music or something playing inside here. Please select a location. Uh, we don't want first floor. We want to go to second floor. You know, I'm actually surprised there isn't elevator music. Seems like the kind of thing this this game would have. Oh, I remember you. Something about remember your name. Huh? I'm Heat Heat's Flames Man. Remember my name. Will do. I don't remember anything ever coming of that in the first one. Yo, that dude's flying with a hot dog. What are you? Toasty bun. To toasty bun, that's all. Oh, it is, it's got a hot dog also. It's going through the top. I see that now. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird? There's snow on that guy's roof. Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. That is funny. There is snow in the hot land. Sands, how'd you pull that off, buddy? Look at that, I broke a thousand G's. Hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30 G's. Hey, yeah. Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog, apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. That's right. Okay. We are continuing to make our way through here. Alfie's posted a picture. Dinner with the girlfriend. Winky eye. It's a picture of cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Cool Skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are you posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Very nice. I want to hear something from uh, Undyne. LOL, Cool Skeleton 95. That's a cool joke, right? Cool Skeleton updated status. The only joke here is how strong my muscles are. <laughs> Sounds like something I would say. Oh, we found something here. Naps of Look 22 has sent you a friend request. Accept the request. Yeah. It seems to have already rejected itself. <laughs> He has no self-confidence. There's an apron lying on the ground. Will you take it? Yeah. You got the stain. Oh, it's a stained apron. I missed that part. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, man. I am filling up here. Next time I come across a box, I need to... I need to empty some stuff, or I need to go back to the Timmies and sell some stuff. Timmies? Timmies? And sell some stuff. Uh, what's the info on this? Defense 11. Heals 1 HP every other turn. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Especially since health is such a precious commodity for me now. Yes. Definitely use that. What happens if I call some... I haven't tried this since, like towards the beginning because there just wasn't much happening. Uh, dimension. Oh, I can access my boxes from here. Oh, I forgot that was added. Oh, sweet. 
Okay, we'll deposit you. The shoes. <laughs> Hot dog with a question mark? Oh, tutu. That's beautiful. Oh, someone gave me a tip. They said that with the uh, the dog residue, you can actually use that and it fills up your inventory and it's a way to like sell. You can you can sell repeatedly and then that teamy that wanted to go to college, you can actually like, pay for her to go to college. That's pretty funny. Uh, Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, yeah, I was going to call somebody. I got all distracted. Let's let's try Toriel again. Tor Oh, someone else told me Toriel's name is actually like a play on the name Tutorial. So Toriel is or Toriel, Toriel, Tor Toriel is actually how you like pronounce her name because they're they're doing a spoof on that and she's the one that kind of helps you learn the beginning of the game. Tutorial. I thought that was a cool little tip. So let's try calling Toriel again. Nobody picked up. Man, she don't answer for nothing. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it says Papyrus and Undyne. That's right. They're together now. Ring, ring. Papyrus, why are you wearing those? Papyrus? Excuse me. I am the very cool online guy. Cool skeletons. What? No, you're Papyrus. Undyne? Shh. You're going to reveal my secret online persona. <laughs> I could spend a whole episode just hanging out with those two. Just saying. They're pretty cool. Ring. Hi, it's Dr. Alfie's. This p puzzle is kind of, um, timing based. You you see those switches over there? Y you'll need to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the, with the rhythm. That's right. I think she talks to me, like interrupts me on the last button. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now press the third one. <laughs> I'd have liked to. Hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like you only needed to press the two of them. Click. That's suspicious. What happens if you do push all three? I don't think I tried that last time. Anything happen? Oh, they went back off. Okay. Thought I might have been onto something. Okay. Alfie's updated status. That's the last time I try to help with a puzzle, LMAO. Now, this one drove me nuts last time because I could not find the right starting position for the arrows, but I, I think I know what I got to do now. Ring. Uh, hey, hey, I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Click. She spends a lot of time in the bathroom. So we're going to turn it. Uh, oh. Okay. So if I jump across now, they'll flip back. If I go now, they'll flip forward. I'll flip forward. They'll go that way. Step down. Step up. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, but this will send me down. I think I need to go around that section one time. So maybe this is what I gotta do. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. On over. Oh, I can't go down. I can't even step off that thing. Um, but if I go down, Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Can I flip off the up to the north up there? Uh. This only sends me back down. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's gonna switch it. Switch it back this way. Okay, I think I understand the concept of how that's supposed to work now. But I want to see if I can go north. Let's see what's up there first. If I go across right now, it's going to flip. We want to switch it, then jump. 
Oh, it didn't change. Oh, bummer. Okay. Let's see if it lined up right. I don't really have it. No, don't know if it did. Nope. It's a complicated mess, is what it is. Now, if I just go around again, does it time out just right? Nope. So, let's see. If I need it to be that way once I'm down here. So, one, two, three. That's the three changes. So, if I start with it facing this way, I'm going to hop on here. It switches over, down, switches over, down, down, up, switches back, switches this way, up, this way. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember which way I said it was. I think this way is the way I, I pictured it facing first. <laughs> I hope that was correct. Okay, so we're going to try that. Let's see if I got it right. I think my logic is right. I just got to make sure I had it. No! Okay. Well, I had it backwards. Oh, wait. I forgot you can jump straight over here. Now if I hop over there. But I, I need to come up from that other side. Okay, let's try switching it. Oh, nope, that's not gonna work. It has to be the other way first. Uh, there we go. And that's gonna switch it. That's gonna switch it over there, and that one over there. Man, this is tricky. Oh, what if I could just go right back up? Uh... Now if I go across, it's gonna come back. I don't know why this puzzle trips me up so much. Oh look, I can go... Hold on a second. Okay. Oops. Okay. It's that way, so if I land on there right now, it's gonna flip over here. So let's go back up, and now down. Ah ha ha, I think I got it. And now I can hop up. There we go. It's funny, you where you need to make your switch on that thing is halfway through the puzzle, not at the start. I kept thinking it had to take place at the start. Okay, I say I remember it now, but, you know, next time I go to play this game, let's see if I re remember that at all. <laughs> Alfie's update. Uh, OMG, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1. LOL, that's a joke, right? Totally. Squeaky. There's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese it's stuck to the table. Imagine that. It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might one day hack this computer I saved and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. There we go, baby. Moving right along. Just had a brief moment of panic that I didn't hit the record button. Everything's recording. I don't know why that happens sometimes. Alfie's update. OMG, don't they get it ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc? Yeah. My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. You go, Alfies. Voice your opinion about that, Mew Mew. Hey, you, stop. Oh yeah, I think this is where we fight the, the two guards. We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around the Hotlands right now. I know, sounds crazy, huh? 
Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you to someplace safe, okay? Uh, what is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing. Like, what about it? Bro, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. <laughs> I like that. Royal Guards attack. I do remember these two. I think out of all the people that I had to spare, or I managed to spare in the first playthrough, these were the two that took me longest because I could not figure out what I had to do. Got really close to killing them. But something to do with, I clean their armor, they start to get too hot, and then they go on a date. Something to that effect here. Okay. Uh, let's clean your armor. I think... I don't remember which one takes the armor off. I was thinking it was number two, but maybe it was number one. We're going to start with number two either way. You clean RGO2's armor. Its cooling dirt begins to wash away. It's getting warmer. That's right. Oop. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a lot of hits right there. I can't. I got real good there. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Yo, first heard. Well, I didn't expect that. Much better. Uh, RG1 looks bothered by something. Yo, RG. Uh, whisper, maybe? You tell RG1 to be honest with his feelings. I, I... Hey? Oh, oh boy. Okay, you guys stay away. I don't even know what those things are supposed to be. Sweat, maybe? D dude I can't... I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, O2? I like... I like, like you, bro. The way you fight? The way you talk? I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you, bouncing and waving our weapons in, the, in sync. O2. I, like, want to stay like this forever. Any comment, O2? Uh, I mean, uh, psych, gotcha, bro. <laughs> o1, yeah, bro. Do you want to get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. <laughs> o1 and O2 are looking at each other happily. I can't believe how quick that went. Wow, and a hundred gold. Cha-ching, baby. Wow, that went far better than I remembered it going the last time. I fought them forever. I think I might have even died to them once or twice. Alfie's updated status. Uh, oop, oops, wait. How's the human doing? Who's oops, wait? Or is that supposed to be two words? Top 10 shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. That's all right. Oh, I got lucky. I just ran right past that first steam and didn't think anything of it. Uh, another robot encounter, I think, here. Ring! Okay, I'm back. Another dark room, huh? Don't worry. But my hacking skills have got this covered. Things covered. Yep. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton, reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there, reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. You know what would be cool is if on this screen they had, like, a viewer count down there in the corner, and, like, as it progressed, you could see it, like, going up as more people are tuning in. That would have been kind of fun. Oh, yeah, I can kind of walk around. Last time... Last time I think I went with the water. I got a book, present, dog. If I remember right, they all turn out to be bombs, but I want... Can I leave? Aw. All right, let's check the dog. Wait, a sensational opportunity for... Oh, 
What a sensational opportunity for a story. I can see the headlines now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report this one? Uh, yeah. Attention viewers, our correspondent has found a dog. Cue audience alls. That's right, folks. It's the feel, it's the feel good story of the year. Look at its little ears, tiny paws, fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's a fuse. <laughs> it's got a teeny tiny flame on the tail. That's right. That dog is a bomb. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. The whole thing falls apart. Oh my. It seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That present's a bomb. That basketball's a bomb. Even my words are bombs. I like that. Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all the bombs, this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. <laughs> I like that. How terrible. How disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. Good luck, darling. Okay. Don't worry. I installed a bomb diffusing program on your phone. Use the diffuse option when the bomb is in the diffuse zone. Uh, now, now, go get him. Okay. Uh. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't think I did that very well. Was it good enough? Oh, apparently it was. Try to go for the one in the bottom left. Uh, I'm just gonna, I don't think it really matters which one I go after first. Oh, thank goodness. That's two. I love the music through here, it's so awesome. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, three down, three to go, I think. Uh. There we go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, come on. Two more. Man, this is so tense. Oh, just got it. Oh, yes. Need one more. Great job. There's only one left at the top right. Last time I think I did that, I had like six seconds left. Well done, darling. You've deactivated all the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, I'll explode it in two seconds. Goodbye, darling. Ah! I can't even move. Uh, it seems the bomb isn't going off. Ring. That's because while you were monologuing, I I fixed um I ch changed. Oh no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curses! It seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human! Curse you, Doctor Alfie's, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. Apparently, he keeps losing one once in a while. Until next time, darling. Well, wow. We we really showed him, huh? Hey, I know I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more, uh, more, more confident about guiding you. So, so don't worry about that big, dumb robot. I, I'll protect you from him. And if it really came down to it, we could just t turn him... Never mind. Later. Click. <laughs> Oh, uh, we did it. Can I do anything with it? How funny would it be if you could actually come over here and reactivate it if you weren't careful? That would be pretty funny. It can't go that way. Does it proceed? No, not that way. That way's got to be a dead end.
Is it over here? Oh! I saw a flower there for a quick second. I might have been covering it. I don't know if I can do anything about that. If I come back. Where'd the flower go? Was it blurry? No? Blurry? Not in the area? Ah, uh, this is the way I need to go. Hmm. That caught me off guard. I'm a little suspicious of what that little flower thing was. Ring! Um, I noticed you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about meeting Asgore? Well, well, don't worry, okay? The king is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him, and with your human soul, you can pass right through the barrier. So no worries, okay? Just, just forget about it and smile. Click. Yeah, I ain't worried. I mean, I'm, I'm worried about the fight, but... I know he's gonna let me live. Speaking of letting him live, you gotta let me know in the comments. I'm really on the fence about this whole if I should go through and play the genocide route or not. Because, uh, you know, I feel like after playing the game and being nice two times in a row to then go through killing everything just seems so mean. I don't know if I could do it. But I have heard that there is a lot of story lore that takes place, and I could also see where there would probably be a lot of dialogue change for, the se for a genocide playthrough compared to the first one, because I would literally be going around slaughtering everybody, and clearly all these people talk to one another. So my reputation as that character going forward, people would probably be terrified of me. I'm curious... I almost wish I didn't like all the characters so much. Okay, uh... First floor is a save point. We started out... We went to the right floor two. I don't... What was right floor one? I don't remember that one. Let's check that first. For some reason, I don't think that was on the list in the beginning, was it? What's over here? Oh, is that where I just went in? My goodness. Figures. Well, that would be why I didn't recognize it on the list. <laughs> okay, let's go to left four three. We're making progress, baby. This has been so much fun. And it successfully slowed me down on my other playthroughs. I'm not I'm not gaining more ground ahead of everybody. I was really worried because I already had the first three episodes of Detroit Become Human recorded, edited, uploaded, and ready to go. Well, if I hadn't put this in my, you know, my playtime right now, I was worried I was going to be like 10 episodes ahead by the time I dropped part one. I was like, I really don't want to do that if possible. So it has successfully slowed me down. Oh, no, not spiders. This was a tough fight. And I didn't get to make my little spider purchase at the beginning this time like I did last time. I don't think I did. I don't, did I buy a spider item? Mm-mm. I did not. I wonder if that's going to come back to bite me. Okay, it looks like some sort of powerful bracelet. Wait, it's just a croissant. Or a croissant. It's a spider donut. It looks more rubbery than usual. Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pastries? All proceeds go to real spiders. I, I, I ended up buying a donut. I, I didn't want to, but that girl, even though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. <laughs> now I'm out of cash. <laughs> That's right. These things are like crazy priced. Yeah. What happens if I select yes? You didn't have enough gold. Oh, okay. Spider bake sale. All precedes go to real spiders. Okay. I don't think... <sighs> I remember that the way this worked, really tough fight. I found out afterwards that uh, if I would have given her the donut at the beginning of the fight, I could have skipped the whole fight. But I remember getting all the way to the end of the fight and the spiders told her that I bought something. And so she had compassion on me. I didn't buy anything this time. I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm really nervous. Ring! Hi, Alfie's here. 
This room is like the room we saw before. There are two puzzles to the north and south. You'll have to solve them both to proceed. Also, I'd like to say I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions, but if you need help, just call me, okay? Actually, wait, I have an idea. Let's be friends on Undernet. Then you can just ping me when you need help. Wait, we're already friends, aren't we? I signed you up, didn't I? You've been reading my post the whole time? Well, I hope you agree with me about Mew Mew too. <laughs> yep, I've known about all the stuff you're saying, girl. Okay. This is so much fun. You get to move it really fast. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. I need to be moving, that's right. Whoop. Oh my goodness, this is tough. Ring. Hey. This um doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but uh, hey, would you want to watch a human TV show together? Sometime? It's called, um, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Sure. Really? It's so good. It's, um, my favorite show. It's all about this human girl named Mew Mew, who has, which humans don't have, so, uh, but. She's clearly compassionate about Mew Mew. To control the minds of anyone she kisses. All right, well, I, that's all great. What if she miss it? Um, <laughs> also, I mean, of course, eventually she realizes that controlling people, okay, well, I, <laughs> I can't keep up for nothing. I really like you to like it. We should watch it after you get through all this. Click. All right. Now, um, does this shoot the opposing ship? You have just one shot. Oh, that's fine. Um, okay, we have activated. Let's go all the way over and then over two. All the way over, over one. Boom! That was easy. I appreciate that. Oh man, are there more lasers on this side? Or is it a freebie? What's the cactus do? Can I? Nope, nothing I can do with the cactus. Okay. I was curious. All right, let's see if we can find our way. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of curious. I think I need to go over first. There we are. Tricky, tricky. Oh, that's where we need to go out. Okay. So now we can go up to the top one. I thought that was just a direction where, um, oops, wrong direction. Where uh, there might be an item I could pick up. I don't remember this area very well from uh, my first playthrough. Okay. We get one shot again. Uh, you know what? Let's go up. Oh, almost. Let's go down. Oh, here we go. Over to twice, nope. Oh, over twice, up one. Oh, hold on a second. I'll get it. Mm. Oh, maybe I need to move all of those over there. Uh, there we go. That was a little trickier. I'll admit it. There was so many blocks you had to move. Yo, who are you guys? My favorite Metaton moment, right when everything looks baddest, he poses dramatically. Like when he's on a cooking show and the eggs don't turn out right. Oh, really? My favorite Metaton moment 
is when he beats up the heel turning villains. When he beats up the heel turning villains. Even if it's during what's supposed to be a quiz show. Those almost sound like attacks he uses when he's like in his human form. Oh, nope, I need to go left first. Because I need to get lower. I love that. It's just so fast paced. A little jump spin, jump spin. It's like a special attack or something. Thank you. Yay. Let's max out my determination, baby. The smell of cobwebs fills the air. You're filled with determination. If by some chance this is the spider fight, wish me luck in the comment section because I'm going to need it. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. No, I like spiders. I'm fine with that. I hate centipedes. I heard that they love to stomp on them. My wife, on the other hand, she'll stomp on a spider. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. Ooh. No. That's gross. I heard that they're awfully stingy with their money. I'm sorry. I'd have bought a donut if I could have bought a donut. Wah, 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 wah. You think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. <laughs> That's a good line. I didn't remember that one. Muffet traps you. Okay, Muffet. Uh, I wonder if I can just buy my way out of here. If I keep paying her, does that, like... Let's do that. Let's keep paying her. You pay 10 Gs. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. Don't look so blue, my dearie. Oh! What? Oh, that's right. I think purple is better. Look on you. I forgot about this. Oh, okay. You're trapped in a strange purple web. Okay, pay 40. We're just, we're just gonna keep spending money on this, baby. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. Why so pale? You should be proud. I'm a little nervous though about how expensive that's gonna get. Up next, all the spiders clap around the music. Oh, we're up to 80. Boy, that's gonna get expensive fast. Um. Man. I have a lot of money, but if it keeps doubling like it's doubling right now, my money's gonna be gone in no time. <sighs> Let's go to check. She in if she invites you to her parlor, excuse yourself. Well, that doesn't help me. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake? Not exactly. I don't wanna be a part of this cake. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. Oh, we got double spiders on the next one. Okay, let's uh, let's let's go struggle. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Let you go. Don't be silly. Oh, it's when the big Muffet or whatever gets out here it gets real crazy. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. Struggle. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet laughs and claps her hands. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Oh, oh. Oh. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. Mmm. Let's pay money for this one. Muffet reduces her attack for this turn. How rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. Yeah, that's what I thought that was. Oh, man. They're speeding up. Oh, stay away. Don't hurt me. Oh, man. Nope. Oh. 
Oh, hit another one. Oh, I don't like muffin, muffin or whatever the whatever that one is. Uh, all the spiders clap around uh, to the music. Is it doubled again? One fifty. Okay. Do I keep going to struggle or do I go to mercy? Let's go to struggle. Maybe I just got to keep trying to work my way free. You struggled to escape the web. Muffet is so amused by your antics that she gives you a discount. Oh, well, I appreciate that. The person who warned us about you. Ooh. Oh, dang it. Smells like freshly baked cobwebs. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be normal. 75, that's a bit of a discount. I like that. You struggled to escape. Nothing happened. Offered us a lot of money for your soul. If it was Undyne, we're friends now. You can you can forgive me. What do got here? Uh, does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. I'd like to watch. I'll watch you dance. I could use another discount if you want to lower that down a bit more again. You struggled to escape. Nothing happened. They had such a sweet smile. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, great. It's a boomerang. Not cool. Oh, it's all boomerangs. All right, you and your synchronized dance. Oh, I got a HP back. Look at that. Every other turn, I forgot about that. I struggle again. It's strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows. Changing shape? In the shadows, changing shape. I don't know who she'd be referring to on that one. Oh, yes. Oh, oh here comes another muffin. All right. Uh, it's a tough call. Each time I get hit, I think it takes away four. Which means I could only get hit twice. But if I do this and it lowers it to three, it means I could get hit three times. Oh, okay. Let's do it. You pay 75. It's lunchtime! Oh, we had breakfast, now lunch. Maybe we gotta make it all the way through dinner. Maybe that's what we have to pull off here. Oh, oh, that was quick. Uh... Oh, go quick. Oh, I got hit again. No, no. Oh, gosh. I can't believe I actually lived. I'm so glad I paid for that round. Okay, let's use a... Bicycle. Okay, there we go. 15. Oh, 15. I thought those only healed by 11. That's even better. That's almost full health. Okay. With that money, the spider clans can finally be reunited. Man, these things are getting fast. Okay, all the spiders clap to the music. Okay, let's keep struggling. I know, it ain't doing nothing. You haven't heard. Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. Ooh. Oh, I got hit. Okay, all the spiders clap. Oh, double boomerangs. You struggle. I know, come on. Even if they go under the door, snowed in fatal cold is impassably cold. Snowed in's fatal cold is impassable alone. For the spiders? I understand. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did so good there. Okay, come on now. Let's struggle again. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. Oh, she's making me move back and forth now. Oh, it's like Frogger on steroids or something. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. You know what? We're gonna do it. I think this heals, it doesn't heal a lot. Let's go ahead and use this. You remove the instant noodles from their packaging. You put some water in the pot, 
and place it on the heat. You wait for the water to boil. It's boiling. You place the noodles into the pot. Four minutes left until the noodles are finished. Three minutes left until the noodles are finished. It's so funny. Until the noodles are finished. Who would have thought? One minute left. The noodles are finished. They don't taste very good. You add the flavor pack. That's better. I can totally appreciate that. Not great, but better. You ate the instant noodles. Your HP was maxed out. Okay. And with all the leftovers, we could have a nice vacation. Or even build a spider baseball field. Look, I'm all for you guys building and getting limos and all that fun stuff. I'll help fund it. I don't mind. Okay. Oh man, we're gonna pay again. I just like that last time. I got hit, I think, four times. You pay 125 G's. Ouch. But enough of that. It's time for dinner. Okay, good. It's dinner time. Oh, oh what? Nope. Oh, man. Okay. Come on. Be nice. Ooh. I was never meant to be a spider. Oh, doing good. Oh, come on. Nope. Oh, <laughs> you're still alive? Yeah, I'd like to stay that way. Oh, my pet. Looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? The telegram from the spiders in the ruins. What? They're saying they saw you, and even if you are stingy, you never hurt a single spider? Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul? They must have meant a different human in striped shirts. Sorry for all the trouble. I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime, and for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. Uh, thank goodness. <sighs> that was expensive. I didn't do too horrible. I only used two resources. It is funny, though. It was a little bit different. They came back and said I didn't hurt any spiders. Where in the first one, my first playthrough, I think it said that I actually bought something from them. So that was kind of cool to see the difference. That was fun. See you again, dearie. Yeah, well, it may be fun for you. You just made a bunch of cash. Go get your heated limo. Stop complaining. Oh, no. I haven't gotten to heal up or save my game. What happens if I do go back through here? Oh, there she is. There you are, dearie. You are always welcome to my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. Oh, don't you worry. I will. I can't remember if there's a star over there that I can save at, but there's one like right over here, right? Yeah. So we're doing this first. Whew, okay. The spider fight, I was really nervous about. In fact, all these fights here at the end are challenging fights. We got we got the rab or the rabbit. The spider fight, which was very tricky. Um the the next fight or the, the real fight that we have with Metaton is very challenging. And then we got Asgore, but I think those are the only fights left, right? Oh, that human. Oh, I remember that this was so great. Could it be? My one true love? You look bored, darling. I want this to be a stellar performance, so if you won't give it your all, then I'll skip ahead for an audience's sake. Perform? Uh... You can skip? I'm gonna say I wanna perform. I don't remember that question being there last time, and if it was, I do not recall what I picked. Something tells me even if I skipped, it wouldn't actually let me. So yeah, we're gonna perform. Understood. Let's knock him dead. 
Such romantic music. Who wouldn't want to get a chance to perform with a killer robot, right? Oh my love. Please run away. Monster King forbids your stay. Humans must live far apart even if it breaks my heart. <laughs> They'll put you in the dungeon. It'll suck. <laughs> and then you'll die a lot. <laughs> really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. Kind of lost your rhyme there a little bit. Oh, shooting star. So sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Ah! <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramount, my paramour will surely perish. Oh yeah. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right. You remember all the rules, don't you? <laughs> Great. Then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry. Because if you don't get through it in 30 seconds, I'm just going to straight run. You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief. I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Oh, has fallen down. Now in tears. Oh. Oop. Can you actually make it through this thing? Oh, can't go that way. Oh no, I'm stuck. There, there's no going any further. I can't even read what he's saying anymore. <laughs> I didn't make it very far. Oh, I'm so sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. You gonna burn your dress? Getting closer? Oh my! Any minute now? Robotic cough. <laughs> Ring! Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewalls right now. <laughs> I love that. Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alfie's. That's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we are working together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alfie's darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, and then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Oh, no. Oh, we're right at that one hour mark and I'm starting this fight. Wish me luck. Metaton attacks. What do we got here? Check, yell. Mm. You know what? I'm just gonna go straight to mercy. We're just gonna do that. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, this this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to that phone, go to the phone's act menu and press it. 
Your phone's act menu is glowing. Yellow. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. Oh, I totally forgot all about this. Now press Z. Yeah! Eat that sucker. Oh! Oh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> I love that you can totally read the sarcasm in that. Ring! L looks like we beat him. You did a really great job out there. And thanks to... Uh, all thanks to you or Dots. Uh, we'll say to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I d didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up. Like I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everyone down. But, but guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyways, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Okay, I'm so glad that... W I couldn't remember if that was like the legit fight we have with him. Or if it was a little bit later. I thought that was going to be the real fight. And I knew I was going to get that done quickly. Okay, there's got to be a star around here somewhere. Okay, that was a stage. What's out this side? Uh, the Vader! Alright, what are you two up to? You got your armor back on. Oh, hey! We're, like, taking a, a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? Don't worry me and Undyne, we're cool now. He seems happy. Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Well, at least it was free. Okay. This is the resort. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Um, let's talk to Sans. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Mmm, yeah. Great. Thanks for treating me. <laughs> you never want to pay for your own food, do you? Over here. I know a shortcut. Of course you do. Of course you do, Sans. This is the one that I was thinking about <laughs> several episodes ago now, where he talked about the lady that wasn't talking at the door anymore. I'm curious to see what he says this time. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Budo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Sans gonna miss me. Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and I watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dish is a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. 
but she told me to come back again, and so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door, it rules. One day, though, noticing she wasn't laughing very much, I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name. But someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to, right? That's why you guys like all my integrity, because of all my bad jokes, corny jokes. They're great, aren't they? That's awesome. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her, you know what would happen? You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. It's kind of freaky the way they do that. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Uh, yeah, I kind of have, actually. Hey, what's that look supposed to... Oh, <laughs> am I wrong? Hey. Or he. You leaving, Sands? Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. That's awesome. I'm glad that the message about no more responses from the door is not there. That was a bit heartbreaking. Okay, we're at the one hour point. If I remember right, there is a star out here. I can go save and We'll talk to all these people uh, at the start of the next. Uh, the relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. Okay, there we go. My goodness, I know we got big fights coming up. We got the big robot, the main robot fight, and I don't remember there being a whole lot between him and Asgore, but we shall find out on the next one. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on that next one.